my situations have mo mostly happened where somebody did injustice to another person. But then I think, you know, I can't just sit by it. I got to do something. But you have to start somewhere in your daily life thinking about ethics. My name is Chaya Verveer, and uh, I am originally from the Netherlands. After finishing high school, I went to Israel and got my BA. I never knew what I wanted to be. Still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. And uh, I was very involved with the Holocaust Museum, and they asked me also to go to the to the state and testify about the importance of having a commission. It was a good beginning. And uh, I got appointed to the commission. My situations have mo mostly happened where somebody did injustice to another person. The first time that I got into trouble that way, I call it getting into trouble, <laughs> um, was when at school, it was middle school, uh, everybody had drawn name of somebody else that had, they had to write a verse and give them a present. And one of the girls, who I don't even particularly liked, got a poem and she started reading and it said, and it was ugly, it said all kinds of nasty stuff about her. So she stopped in the middle, started crying, and ran out of the room. And so I said to my friends, I said, we're not going to talk to that person anymore until she confesses. And you know, makes this whole again. Well, we did that and the teacher was madder than mad that we created this mess. And he wanted it to stop and stop now, and it didn't. And then in the end, apparently the parents of the girl who was mistreated went to the police and the police went out. And so she had to come in front of the group of the whole class and say that she, she was the one who did it and that she was very sorry. And I got in trouble with the teachers forever after because I was a troublemaker. If there are ways that are not as damaging, that if, if there is another way to resolve the situation, by all means, go for it. Other people have to make an effort and they don't want, they want everything to be clean, and smooth and don't bother, don't ask too many questions. But then I think, you know, I can't just sit by. I got to do something. I have to set an example. If, if, if I don't live up to some ideas of ethics, then who am I to speak to them and tell them and lecture them sometimes about that they have to change the world? How can I not? I would be an un unbelievable hypocrite if I did that. The only uh, concern and uh, thing I struggle with is that we have everyday ethical decisions. But you have to start somewhere in your daily life thinking about ethics. <laughs>